Hello folks, welcome to the canal, Chano Jose. Today we're going to give you an idea how to test the magnetic force or magnetic field on your alternator without even taking it off or turning on your car. So the alternators need a magnetic field to create power as it spins. So that's the purpose of magnetic field. I'm not too much into the electrical, but it's a really basic stuff that needs to be happening on the alternator. So the alternators have a pulley where the pulley has the belt that goes into the engine well you this for this test you're gonna do this you're gonna open your hood and you're gonna get a screwdriver a flathead screwdriver or a hacksaw blade because it's really thin and it can be pulled right away without you even touching it and a screwdriver is a little bit more rigid so you're gonna kind of have to bring it in and out to feel the magnetic force but a hacksaw blade works great so what you do is right in front of the pulley you're going to put your hacksaw blade in front of it. You should not feel a magnetic force because you have not opened the key or turned on the car. For this test, you're not going to need to turn on the engine. Engine has to be off. So now, once you test it, that there's no magnetic field, you go into the cab and you get your key, put it on the ignition and turn on to where that lights on the dash comes on, but do not turn on the engine so now you come over to the alternator and you get your hacksaw blade and you put it right in front of the pulley and it, the pulley should absorb or that there should be a magnetic force that should suck the hacksaw blade because it's metal towards the pulley or your screwdriver and for this purpose we're going to be use a pin and a and a string to show you the, and um visual visual image how it's pulled into it like i said this is basic stuff that you the people who think that how why do i need to know that but well the alternators need a magnetic field so they can create power and if there's no magnetic field then the alternator is not doing its job simple inspection or simple test you can do in the car without using any specific or special tools just a piece of metal and then key off test it no magnetic force and then once you turn on the key but the engine's still off just test it again and there should be a magnetic field and if there's no magnetic field then something wrong with your alternator but if there's a magnetic field then the alternator is doing its job so it's a simple test with that let's get started okay folks so we have our engine and then here is our alternator on this camry and as you can see we have the belt and then this is the side of the alternator, which is just like an extra piece of the pulley sticking out. So we have put the little piece of metal, the pin, and then we're going to, right now it's off. So we're going to turn on the key and you're going to see how that little pin is going to get pulled towards the alternator because the magnetic field is going to be created so that's how you tell or it's a quick test to see if your alternator is creating the magnetic field that you need to create a charging so as you saw folks the uh, pin was brought over to the alternator pulley and there's still some magnetic field i have turned off the key so as you can tell, that magnetic field is still there, but it's weak and it's being created by the alternator. So if the alternator wasn't doing its job, this would be a one simple test that you can do. And we're doing it with this pin, so you can see how easy it's brought over. And uh, so with the screwdriver, you wouldn't be able to tell how much strength I've been putting into it. But with this pin just hanging from a string right next to it, it's gonna automatically get it pull towards the alternator pulley where the magnetic field is being created so we're gonna do it again to show you see so this using this string and this pin i was showing you how easy and the weight of it, how it's pulled towards the pulley. Because if I use a screwdriver, you wouldn't be able to tell how much strength is pulling on it because you can't tell. But by, by this hanging here and then it gets pulled towards it, you can see how that created the, you can get an image of how the 
the magnetic is pulling that metal once it gets created into the alternator so wanted to show you that and give you a better image so now we're going to be using the tools and how we do it so as you can see right on the side there's a pulley and this is the belt of the alternator right here so we're going to put the screwdriver on the side and then it's gonna you're gonna feel a pull when it's on the key is on right now it's off so right now the the little pin is even away from it so we're gonna turn on the key and show you that the pin is gonna get near it and then how you would test it with a screwdriver so let's turn on the So let's turn on the key and test it with a screwdriver. So as you can see the pin is right into the edge of the of the alternator pulley and there's the magnetic field so we show it with a light piece of metal so every time we get the screwdriver near the pin it gets attached to the screwdriver because the magnetic field is transferred so there is a magnetic field at this point right there because we got a key on don't turn on your car just bring it on to where the dash turns on and then do the test as you can see so we'll turn off the key and see what happens. So now that we have turned off the key, there's still a magnetic field, but it's so weak that it's just fading away. As you can see, it's just uh, the, uh, the screwdriver and the uh, pin have been magnetized, but uh, the alternator doesn't have the magnetic field at this point because we turn off the key and it's fading away. So the pin doesn't stay on like earlier like it was doing so now remember don't you turn test it with a key off and then go turn on your key and see what happens and if you get a magnetic field your alternator is, is creating the magnetic field and well folks this uh, test is really simple it's just to ch test the magnetic field on your alternator and your car without even taking it off or taking it to a specific a special or a shop you can do it at home remember you just gotta do it I would recommend using a hacksaw blade and then once you don't turn on the key put it right in front of the pulley there shouldn't be a magnetic field now you go and turn on the key but don't turn on the car just to where all the dash comes on and then come over to the alternator test it again and if this magnetic field is there the hacksaw blade is going to get pulled towards it and that means the alternator is creating the magnetic field that it needs so when it turns on it charges it creates a force so it's pretty simple it's basic stuff you don't need a special tools for this this is just so you can start troubleshooting electrical problems without spending a lot of money and well folks if you like this video give us thumbs up share it and we'll see you soon with more videos here in the canal channel jose